Hey guys, Martin from CoinRing USA, and today I want to demonstrate the latest rollout of my CoinRing folding tools. These are machined out of hardened, wear resistant stainless steel. You guys asked, and I listened after many requests. This is what I've come up with. You know, the other ones that are out there work really well, but ultimately, they're still a consumable item. So, with these here, finally, no more grooved and worn out cones. So, obviously, the issue with uh, using metal is metal to metal contact with the inner detail of the coin but that's easily taken care of with Teflon tape and I'll show you guys here as I fold down this 1921 Morgan dollar that I've already center punched a hole in I like to start from the larger diameter end and I like to work my way down to the smaller diameter end and you want to just roll away from you and there we go. Okay, so I've Teflon wrapped all of the folding cones and I put the smallest one, the three inch folding cone, into the 1.6 side of my 17 degree reduction die and I'm ready to fold it over. Small side note here, this is the uh, hardened stainless steel starter cone and if you have my either 25 cent, 50 cent, dollar Morgan slash peace dollar or the American Silver Eagle stabilizing reduction die. This starter cone actually is very effective because of the fact that there's low clearance here on the ram head of my particular ring size and machine and the brand that I have is a Durston. So normally I would start with the folding cone but since I'm using the universal 1.6 side of the, re the uh, reduction die, uh, the smaller 3 inch cone fits right in just fine. So now we'll go ahead and get started with the folding process. So you just want to give a little initial tap on the handle, make sure that that's nice and straight and level, and go ahead and fold down. As you can see, there's the first pass. And the cool thing about the Teflon tape, as you can see, as you start to make your press, the Teflon tape cuts away from the initial point where you started the fold, and it rides up and by riding up what's happening is it's actually kind of using using itself as a cushion to protect against uh, metal on metal contact as you can see there's none there whatsoever so now we'll continue with the process you can actually flip it around to the 1.5 side get that nice and level and press and that's what it looks like Let's get that in focus there. You can see further compression of the Teflon tape without any sacrifice whatsoever to that inner detail. Okay, so the coin's been re-annealed and I'm now switching to the second size, the half inch size folding cone. Still on the 1.5 side because it will not fit into the next size die and give it a good press. Now this is where using that spacer can come into play. You can see that it's the top of the folding cone is pretty much flush with the top of my 1.5 size reduction die. So using the spacer will give me a little bit more of a reach so that I can continue to fold down if I want to utilize the existing folding cone and I'll go ahead and do that. Put that in, give it a little tap, make sure it's even and press. This is what we've come up with so far. Now I'm going to go ahead and re-anneal this coin again. And I'll go ahead and switch to the third size, the 5 8 inch size stainless steel folding cone. I'm still in the 1.5 side because it's not quite small enough yet to fit into the 1.4 side diameter reduction die. So now we'll go ahead and press this down. Right, bottom that out. And there's what we have with the third largest folding cone. Okay, now I've annealed the coin yet again. Remember, you can never anneal too much, but you can certainly over anneal, but as long as you know the boundaries of the coin, you're all set. I'll give it a little test press and fold it down. Okay, and that's, that's it right there. We're good to go. One of the things you want to
take note is you're trying to close the gap between the edge of the folding cone and the inner reeded portion of the coin. I'll take it out of the die, give you guys a better idea. You can see that there's no gap in between the two and I'm not worried again because of the fact that there's Teflon tape. Okay guys, so here you have it, a fully folded over 1921 Morgan Silver Dollar. I mean look how perfectly folded over that is, utilizing those hardened stainless steel folding cones and spacer. But I want to draw your attention to the inner detail. Kind of keep that still so you can see I me. Mean, look at the detail of that bird. Look at the eagle's head, the wings, and all the lettering. United States of America, in God we trust. Flip it over there, one dollar. You can see the eagle's feet, the arrows. Just complete preservation of the detail. At this point here, if I was going to make a larger coin, I would bring this up to the expanding splines of my ring sizing machine, or, which I'm going to do in a little bit here, I'm going to further reduce this down, reduce the reeded portion of the coin using my Swedish wrap dies and the Swedish wrap technique. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. You can check out the new hardened stainless steel folding cones at my shop page, as well as all my other tools. That's at coinringusa.com. Go ahead and uh, like, like the video if you thought this information was handy and subscribe in the lower right hand corner and you can click in the description box and you'll be able to see the various links there as well and hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys on the next one bye for now